In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to calculate the pH of a buffer solution, and we'll do this by studying a work example. So our example is going to be this question. What is the pH of a buffer solution formed from adding this quantity of sodium hydroxide to this quantity of benzoic acid? And to do this, we're going to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation that simply says that the pH of a substance is your pKa, that's a certain property of your benzoic acid that you can look up, plus log to the base 10, it's always base 10, of this A minus, A minus is your conjugate base, and these square brackets mean concentration. So this is your concentration of your conjugate base divided by the concentration of HA. HA is your weak acid, and your weak acid in this case is gonna be benzoic acid. So we can use this equation to calculate the pH. So what we need to find is the concentration of the conjugate base and the concentration of our weak acid. So the first step is gonna to be to calculate the moles of the acid and the moles of the base. Now you have to be very clear on this thing when I say base, which is the sodium hydroxide. This is not your conjugate base, this is your base, and there is a clear distinction there. So we're gonna do the calculation of the number of moles and we're gonna do it for sodium hydroxide and then for our weak acid. So the formula is obviously N equals C times V, where C is the concentration, V is the volume, and N is your number of moles. We substitute what we know. So we know that we've got a concentration of 0 0.4. We've got 500 centimeters cubed, but we have to have consistent units. So we divide that by 1,000 to get dm cubed. And so we end up with that divided by 1,000, which is 0 0.5, and times that by the concentration. So we get 0 0.2 moles of our base, which is our sodium hydroxide. Exactly the same calculation for our acid, simply one, and then we convert that 500 to 0.5, substitute that in, and we've got 0 0.5 moles of acid. We've now got our number of moles for our sodium hydroxide and for our weak acid. Now we need to start thinking about finding the conjugate base, and we're going to do this by looking at the reaction. So we've got sodium hydroxide reacting with our weak acid, and that's gonna form water and then a salt, which is gonna be NaA. And this is what our reaction is gonna look like. So at the start of the reaction, we're gonna be thinking about our previous numbers. We've got 0 0.2 moles of sodium hydroxide, 0 0.5 moles of our weak acid. We need to think about excess as well. Obviously, there's gonna be nothing made at the start. This is going to be limiting and this is going to be an excess. So you would expect all of the sodium hydroxide to react, and then you're gonna have some of this left over. So 0 0.3 moles is gonna be unreacted, and then you've got 0 0.2 moles has reacted. You've got a one to one ratio there, so you're gonna get 0 0.2 moles here. This is a strong base here, and you would expect that this would fully um, ionize and dissociate, so your concentration of your conjugate base A minus would be the same as this 0 0.2 moles. You would get that many moles when it breaks up. So we can move on and we need to find the concentration of the acid, that's the weak acid and our conjugate base. So these are the numbers we obtained by looking at the reaction. And when we think about mixing these two, you've got 500 centimeters cubed being added to 500 centimeters cubed. So that's 1000 centimeters cubed or one dm cubed. So we simply rearrange the N equals CV equation and we've got N over V, and well, that's just one, so that's not gonna change. So our concentration of our weak acid is 0 0.3 moles per dm cubed, and the concentration of our conjugate base is gonna be 0 0.2 moles per dm cubed. We're now getting close to being able to find the answer. So we just have to substitute this into the equation from earlier. And we've got these numbers that we've already worked out. The pKa of benzoic acid is 4.2. You can also calculate that from the Ka by simply taking the negative log 10 um, of the Ka. And then you just put all this together into that equation. So just substitute the pKa, substitute your concentrations, and then you just evaluate and you've got your pH. So that is how you can calculate pH from the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. I hope this video was helpful to you. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. And finally, thank you very much for watching.